we're getting in a New York state of mind this morning. That's right, Ryan Christopher talking one on one with Billy Joel. Oh, What's going yeah. on, Ryan? This is big. So, the piano man himself, the subject of a new exhibit at the Long Island Music and Entertainment Hall of Fame, right in Stony Brook. It's called My Life, a Piano Man's Journey, and it's filled with five decades of Billy's personal memorabilia, motorcycles, and more. And I had a chance to talk with Billy Joel right after he walked through the exhibit for the very first time. Where did he get all this junk? <laughs> Billy, congratulations. What does it feel like tonight walking through this exhibit, sort of reflecting on your life? And I feel like it's not just all about your music, it's about your love for music and different artists as well. What's well, a little intimidating. Yeah, is yeah, it? I haven't seen all this stuff of me all together in one place. It's it's strange. It's overwhelming. Yeah, a little bit, yes. And while the My Life exhibit is filled with nostalgic memorabilia from the Piano Man, the Long Island legend is just eight months away from the end of his historic residency at Madison Square Garden, marking 150 shows. So I'll be the last one, yeah. But it doesn't mean I'm giving up. It doesn't mean I'm stopping performing. I mean, we'll, we'll do more gigs. Well, I was curious about that because, you know, Madison Square Garden, they got a nice little venue out in Vegas now, The Sphere. Any chance we can see Billy Joel at The Sphere someday? We might do that. Yeah? Yeah, we're talking about it. Very cool. What's your vision for that? What, what would you like to see behind you? Because it's such I, an immersive space. I have to go to The Sphere and check out what it really is all about. Yes. Yeah. I'm not sure how we bring programming for that, but we'd have to do that. And here inside of the My Life exhibit, you'll find hundreds of personal items from Billy Joel, like this piano that he played on tour with Sir Elton John. You'll learn about Joel's early upbringing on Long Island and his musical influences from the Beatles to Otis Redding and even Beethoven. We saw Billy the Kid sitting at the piano when you were just a little kid. So what is it like looking at those artists and really reflecting on what they meant to you? <laughs> it makes me think... I guess I've been around. I've never seen it all put together like this. And despite the fanfare at the Hall of Fame... I've done shows on Thanksgiving evening a lot of times, and the funny thing is the audience smells. <laughs> it's like you smell stuffing and <laughs> gravy, and you're like, woo! Clearly, Billy's still looking forward to enjoying Thanksgiving. What are you doing? You cooking? No, no. No? No, we're not going to have turkey. We're going to have uh, something else. All right, one more question. You've done so much for the city of New York. What has New York done for you? How has New York City sculpted you and your music? Well, it's the greatest city in the world, so that's, you know, a big part of what I do is celebrating that. I always wondered, did I pick this life or did it pick me? Because I really didn't think I had much of a choice. I was going to do this no matter what because I love music and and uh, most people do and I, I'm very glad that we all ended up loving the same thing. Thank you. So the My Life exhibit, Guys Back at the Desk, opens Friday. It's in Stony Brook and you can see that Billy Joel, he was sort of taken aback and a bit emotional having all that memorabilia and his life right in front of him for the first time to be able to go through there. But Rosanna and Dan, how about Billy Joel at the Sphere? Could that be happening? I, that was breaking news for me. Look at that. Wow, okay. Exciting, that would so. be awesome. Listen, Billy Joel is great in concert. If you haven't seen him, he's going to be in uh, Madison Square Garden for the next few months. Yeah, and then... tonight, actually, he's performing. Oh, tonight? Tonight, yeah. Wow, he's so there busy. You have it. He's a busy guy, yeah, and then performing New Year's Eve at UBS Arena on Long Island as well. Amazing. Perfect. Thank you. And we got to thank Claire Mercury for that interview of because course. Claire uh, smoothed things over yeah. uh, yesterday. And anyway, so did you, Rosanna. Thank you. Uh, thanks for the SOS <laughs> call last night at 6 o'clock. <laughs> Anyway, Ryan, you did a great job. And Billy Joe, we appreciate you. Damn, great 9 o'clock coming up. Awesome.